Hello everyone and welcome to this week's plugin tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to sign and notarize your plugin on Mac specifically so that you can send it off to anyone's computer and work on any Mac OS. Now, the newest versions of Mac OS require that your products or applications installed are basically created by trusted developers. And by doing this code signing and compression and then uploading it to notarize it to the Apple servers, we can then give your plugin and in some other cases, things like extensions, full access on other people's computers to work. So before we get started, I do wanna remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice a week on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out uh, the reference notes for this, basically different steps, and you can try it out for yourself. And make sure you follow us there on GitHub for more coding updates. In the description, you can follow on AE Scripts download and purchase products to help support us as well as make sure you follow on instagram for other live updates if you're not already a member of the discord server make sure you come and join to get help with scripting extensions plugins expressions submit tutorial ideas and much more and if you'd like to help support us on youtube you can get cool perks like uh, badges member status on discord access to live streams early code and much more link for that is down below in the description all right, so step one is to export your plugin using Xcode, obviously, and you want to export it as a .plugin file. You can use either product build, which will build a product, or if you're using something newer like the M1 Mac silicon support, you sometimes will want to go to product and archive it. You can also go into the product and build settings into the signing capabilities and you can use uh, some signing information of your Apple developer account if you already have that. Uh, but we're also going to be somewhat overriding it just to make sure we put in the specific arguments we know it will work with the newest OS. So I have here an exported dot plugin file. We're going to go now step by step how we can sign this and notarize it. Now, firstly, signing it is basically to say that it was made by a reputable developer. After we sign it with our developer ID, which you should already have, then we're going to compress it into a zip file, upload it to the Apple servers so that Gatekeeper, what basically deems files as trusted in the Apple community, will then look at your application and make sure everything is verified using your information and then safe for the user to install. Finally, after that, we're going to staple our plugin file, which basically allows it to be uh, verified offline without connecting to the Apple servers to Gatekeeper. And I should note that you do need Xcode, of course, installed for this, um, because Xcode is what includes all of these tools like CodeSign and Xrun, uh, which we will need. So the first thing we'll do is type in CodeSign, options, runtime, and then we'll force timestamp strict. And again, all this will be in the description down below. And then we're going to say sign. The next thing we need is our developer ID application, including the ASC provider information. The ASC provider is basically a list of numbers and or letters that goes after your developer ID, uh, usually looking something like this. This is my personal ID, uh, which is fine for the public to know. Uh, basically, what you want to do is type in the full name as it appears uh, in your keychain. So for me, that just looks like this. It includes the text developer ID application. You want to use that one specifically for this step. And then the name and the ASC provider. Uh, you want to make sure this is in quotes because there are spaces in here. And then the last thing we need to do is provide a path to our plugin. All we have to do for that is click and drag it into terminal and then we'll hit enter. As you can see, it says it's replacing the signature because there was one I had applied through Xcode and this will just override it and make sure everything's good. So now that that process is successful, we're going to secondly compress this plugin file into a zip file. We need it to be in a zip format or something like a package or DMG to upload it to the Apple servers and be accepted. So I'm not even going to change the name. I'm just going to use uh, .plugin.zip. And here is the next bit of code we're, we're going to run. So we're going to say XC run all tool. The first flag we're going to give it is notarize app because that's what we're going to do. Then we're going to tell it we're going to be giving it the primary bundle ID. This is usually what you define here in your build settings, uh, the bundle identifier. 
Next thing we need to provide is our username. This is our email address for our Apple account. Then we need to tell it we're giving it a password. This is not the password to your developer account. This is a specific app specific password you make with your Apple ID. So usually you manage your certificates and stuff in here from your developer.apple.com account, but we're actually going to be going into our actual Apple ID account. So if you just type in uh, apple.id.apple.com, you can log into your account and then click on app specific passwords. We're going to create an app specific password which allows us to sign these applications. So to create a new one, just hit plus, name it whatever you want, plug in test, and then it's going to give you this password, which I'm going to from here on out blur out because it's basically like a private key kind of password where if you have this and the ASC provider, anyone can sign stuff for you. So copy down this password and keep it safe. And we're going to be using that to now sign. After that, we're going to now provide it the ASC dash provider. Again, this is just the team that you belong to, which is usually a bunch of letters and numbers representing uh, the development ASC provider. Then lastly, we'll give it the argument file, and then we'll give it the zip file we created and hit enter. Now it's going to take a second as it's uploading this to the Apple servers to be checked and notarized properly by their gatekeeper. It will give you a special ID number in just a moment, which you can use to verify online if you are successfully signed or not. But you also get an email to your Apple developer account, which basically says notarized successfully or failed and give you a reference code. So we do need to wait until we get that email to proceed to the next step. And in my case, I actually just uploaded this. So it's telling me that it had a problem. Here's all the information. This was already uploaded, so I could probably change the name or whatever. But once you get an email indicating that it's been signed successfully, the last step is to remove our original plugin file and unzip this newly notarized file. Remember to wait till you get that email saying it's notarized successfully. And once we uncompress the zip file, we'll have our plugin file here. Our last step is to staple this. And stapling just means it will be installable and usable and trusted offline. Uh, if the user is offline, it can't connect the gatekeeper to check if it's a trusted application. So this will enable them to do that. So we'll say XC run stapler. That's the name of the app. And we're going to staple this plugin file. Once we hit enter, you can see we have stapled and validated it successfully. This is now available to be used offline. You can then take your plugin file, upload it online, put it in a zip file in a folder for your distributables, and it will be usable by any Mac. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code reference to this in the GitHub link. Follow us there for coding updates. Check us out on AE Scripts, where I post scripts and plugins for uh, workflow improvements. You can support us there. And also follow us on Instagram down below for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, link in the description, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP at these different perk levels and help support us. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.